The compressor is an advanced unit and is considered one of the most costly components of the system. And when the compressor does not work properly, the AC system does not work either. For this reason, it is crucial that the compressor is replaced by a professional repair shop specialized in air conditioning using high quality spare parts only. Remember to use gloves and glasses during the entire installation process for your own safety. The very first step when installing a new compressor is to extract the refrigerant from the system. Remove failed compressor. Receiver dryer as well as expansion valve. Try to determine the cause of the defect and eliminate it to make sure that the defect will not occur again when the new compressor has been installed. The most common causes of defects are clogged filter dryer, deteriorated condenser fins, leaks or impurities in the system. When removing hoses connected to the compressor, make sure to protect the connections in order to avoid impurities sticking to the connections or getting inside the system during the installation of the compressor. Now it is time to find and order the correct item number for the specific car make and model. When browsing through Nissan's web shop to find the correct compressor, technical tips are available in order to inform about specific compressor types and models before starting the installation. Please note that more compressor types can be applicable for a specific vehicle model. To make sure that you order the correct compressor from Nissan's, always check the most important dimensions and features of the compressor. Diameter of the pulley, number of grooves on the pulley, diameter of inlet, outlet pipes, connector size, and shape. To conduct a proper compressor installation, the following parts are needed depending on the system applied in the specific car model. Air conditioning compressor, expansion valve and receiver dryer, cabin filter, possibly a condenser, possibly a belt. Please note that some systems are equipped with accumulator and orifice tube instead of receiver dryer and expansion valve. A warranty and installation guide is included in the box of all Nissan's compressors. Read the installation guide carefully before starting the installation in order to conduct a proper installation and to get familiar with Nissan's warranty requirements. When compressor, expansion valve, and receiver dryer are dismounted, compare them to the replacement parts to make sure that they are equivalent to the originally applied parts. The system must be flushed properly by using R134A, or a flushing solution specifically designed for this purpose. However, Nissan's recommends flushing the system by using a flushing detergent designed for this purpose specifically. A universal adapter kit might ease the flushing process. The low pressure circuit and the high pressure circuit are now ready for flushing. Flush for approximately 30 minutes. Turn the flow around and flush for another 30 minutes. The flushing fluid will ensure that all particles are captured and removed. Here, there is a high risk of making a crucial failure. One of the most common failures is that not all impurities are removed from the system. This will surely cause damage to a new compressor.
The cabin filter must be replaced to ensure the correct airflow through the evaporator. At the same time, the evaporator and the condenser must be cleaned from the outside as well as between the condenser and radiator. Additionally, the condenser condition must be checked as on a later stage during this repair, the condenser might be replaced with a new one. After flushing, check the system pressure and make sure that no refrigerant or flushing liquid is left in the system and dry the circuit by using nitrogen if necessary. As the old refrigerant has been cleaned in the AC machine, it can be reused. All Nissan's compressors are delivered with pre-filled oil. The oil level should be checked in order to make sure it is consistent with the instructions of the vehicle manufacturer. If extra filling is needed, make sure to use oil of the same viscosity as that of the vehicle manufacturer. Now, turn the clutch 10 times to distribute the oil equally inside the compressor. Now, back to the condenser. If after the inspection, there are any noticeable damages on fins or tubes, or some visible impurities at in or outlets, the condenser should be replaced. A non-performing condenser may create overpressure in the system, causing overload and damage to the compressor. Nissan's offers a wide selection of high-quality condensers. Selected condenser models are corrosion-protected and offered as first fit with required spare parts included in the box. New O-rings must be applied for all disassembled connections. All Nissan's compressors are first fit products, meaning that, among other things, O-rings are always included in the box. When mounting the compressor, in order to avoid impurities entering the system, do not remove the safety caps in the connection holes before it is necessary. Another Nissan's first fit feature for compressors is pre-filters. Nissan's has predefined specific compressor models for which pre-filters are very beneficial and has included these in the product box. The pre-filter is installed in the low pressure hose connected to the compressor and will catch any impurities still left in the system after flushing. Now you can complete the installation of all other replacement parts that are crucial for the system. First, the compressor. Then the expansion valve. And finally, the receiver dryer. It is recommended always to replace the belt when installing a new compressor. Now check the belt tightener and make sure that the belt is aligned correctly when installed. Now the system is ready to be evacuated with the AC machine to ensure that all moisture has been removed. Connect the AC machine to the low and high pressure side quick connections and make sure that the evacuation time is set at 60 to 90 minutes. Now recharge the AC system with the prescribed amount of refrigerant according to vehicle manufacturer. Use only R134A as refrigerant for R134A systems. Fluorescent UV dye can be added in order to locate possible leaks with a UV lamp. To make sure that the system is completely clean, Nissan's recommends controlling with a simple visual inspection tool where it is possible to see if all impurities have been removed from the system during flushing. If impurities are found, the refrigerant must be recovered and the flushing procedure must be repeated. Check the temperature in order to control if the system operates properly after installation of the compressor. Place a digital thermometer in the air vents in the middle of the dashboard while the car is idling and set the blower speed at 
The temperature should be between 6 and 8 degrees Celsius. Leave it on for a couple of minutes and try to turn the system on and off several times.